What's going on folks? I'm going to show you how you'll be changing out your um, brake lights on a Nissan Rogue. It's probably the same for about the 2013 all the way up to about the 2019. Um, on the 2013s, probably to about the 2015s, you may not have as many screws to take out, but it's pretty much the same process. On this one, which is about a 2018, um, what you want to do first of all on the 2018 is take out these four screws. You'll have one up here. You want to take out and it's going to take a size 10 socket to take it out then you want to take out these two that's down here which also takes a size 10 socket pretty much that you're going to be taking out and then once you get those out next what you want to do is take like a flathead screwdriver i took a flathead screwdriver and put a piece of tape around it just because you don't want to put any scars or anything like that onto the vehicle so i'm going to show you now come around here what you want to do now is come around here and kind of pry it up like that and when you pry it you'll see this part comes off and what you'll see you're prying out of you see one right here right here and right here if you come around right here to the back of it you'll see where it's coming from see one came this one came from out there this one from here and this white one came from down there so you kind of want to pry those out like that by taking something and prying it back and pulling this off once you have this removed now what you want to do is look at your headlight I mean, your, I mean rather your brake light you want to come to the front take that screwdriver and kind of just press back on it right here come out so you can see it good you want to press back on this like that and kind of pry it out and once you pry it out it'll slide out like that and pretty much now you'll be able to get access to your brake lights and on this one your brake light pretty much is going to be so actually your brake light will be right here this is your brake light so all you got to do now is kind of want to move that stuff kind of out the way is you just want to spin it like that and see like that and you'll have your brake light out now you don't want to touch this bulb too much with your hands unless you have gloves on or something like that because if you do you can get oil on it that'll then cause it to burn out quicker but so once you have this out all you got to do now is pretty much take and pull out your light like that I guess you pull it straight out and you take your new bulb like I said I'm using my hands now because this one's actually bad but when you get your new bulb you just take it and you just pretty much plug it right back in like and if you did get some grease or something on it take a, a piece of, of, of tissue or something and kind of wipe it off and once you got your brake light changed out now what you could do is just take it and stick it back into the opening there's a hole right there it's pretty simple you just take it back in there and you spin it back all the way the opposite way of what you basically took it out and your brake light will be back in also if you need to change out some other bulbs you'll have another bulb that's right down here over here same process you would just spin it out like that and that bulb will come out also change it out the exact same way stick it back into the opening like I say stick it back in and spin it back in gets it nice and tight back inside the opening pretty much you'll be done and as well as if you need to change out your your um whole brake assembly a lot of times you could take out those two bulbs what you would do is take out those two bulbs as well as unplug this right here this connection right here you will unplug this right here just basically see a little tab you unplug that like that that basically leaves that and once you have that you would just take out these two bulbs go ahead and show you you would just pull these two bulbs out like that now pretty much actually you have to disconnect some wires actually no you just pull this one out too and now as you can see you could basically change out your whole brake light assembly just like that and you'll have to just in case it got damaged or something like that you could take this whole thing out and once you're done doing that if you had to change out the whole assembly then you will come back of course and reinstall your bulbs back in to the correct locations just like that just taking them sticking them back into their into their openings sticking them back in 
Yeah, just sticking them back into the openings where they belong at. Just brake light. Like I said, you want to make sure that you do this with out touching the bulbs, especially if it's your good bulbs. And just as everything's back in. Like I said, this is only if you had to change out your whole brake assembly. And you would just come right here and plug this, squeeze that back down, and plug that back up. Put that back into its spot to keep it secure like that. And you're pretty much be done whether you had to change out this whole um, brake um, like assembly or just change out your actual brake light itself. And once you're done with that, if you can look right here, you can see these pieces right here. They plug in right here. You come over here, you see those? This brown one, and down here there's a white one. And pretty much, they plug right into that opening, right into here and here. That's what these pieces right here go at. You want to plug them into there. Then if you see this right here, this pretty much it slides over top of this right here. So it just slides. So what you want to do is, is just take it, kind of line it up. You can see that top hole. And then kind of push it on like that until you hear like a snap. And you want to go ahead and put your other screws back in. Of course, you want to take this piece right here. Like I said, you'll see these pieces right here, which plug into these three holes. Get it kind of correctly. It should fit snugly in there. Go ahead, like I said, go ahead and put on your, go ahead and put on the rest of your screws back in and pretty much you'll be done. All right, folks, once again, this is how you would change out your brake lights on a Nissan Rogue. This happens to be a 2018, but it's probably the same process from about the 2013 to about the 2019. You may have a little bit difference on some of your older models. It may only be like one screw right here, but on this one, you got to take out all four and do what I showed you. All right, folks, please check out the other helpful videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.